what you call flaws, that's what makes you unique. That's what separates you from other people. That's what differentiates you from the rest. Remember I said, you're uniquely designed to be the way you are. You're uniquely crafted to look the way you look, to have the features that you have. So, a lot of times people want to make alterations because they admire other people's features or they want features similar to what other people have. That's not for you. If they were born with those features, that's unique and specific to their design. Same pertains to you. People have to learn to accept who they are. People have to learn to accept themselves, flaws and all. Because, like I said, it's not a flaw. It's just something that makes you unique. Now, some things are the result of poor diet, poor habit, poor lifestyle. So, being out of shape, causing your body to become misfigured. That's something that you cause on yourself. That's something that you feel the effects of because you allowed that to happen because you didn't take care of yourself properly. But that's also something that can be corrected if you take proper action and make the necessary corrections. It's all about how much you love yourself, how much you care about yourself. How much are you willing to invest in yourself? Are you willing to invest more in yourself than you are in all the material things around you that you invest in? that really don't make any genuine or authentic contribution to your life. They're pacifiers, they're blinders, they're things that keep you distracted, things that keep you off focus. So you're not taking care of yourself the way you should. You're neglecting yourself, you're neglecting your body. You're keeping up with these material superficial devices better than you're keeping up with yourself. So, these are things that need to be analyzed. You know, this is all part of the mirror talk. When you're looking in the mirror, that acceptance. You know, a lot of people have a lot of confidence when they're fully dressed and with their clothes on. Stand in the mirror and strip yourself naked. Do you still have that same confidence? If other people were around you when you were completely naked, would you still have that same confidence that you have? When you have clothing on? When you have jewelry on, when you decorate yourself, will you still have that same confidence? Or will you start to feel insecure because of your flaws, your imperfections, your blemishes? And if so, what are you going to do about it? What are you willing to do about it? Because you have the power to change all of that. It's, it's within your power. It's not out of your control. People tend to lose control. Then they blame other things. They blame the world around them. They, they, they have a lot of scapegoats lined up. One for each situation. Because they want to avoid accountability. They don't want to be responsible for their own actions. It's cause and effect. So, does it really take these different articles of clothing, these decorations that you put on your body to give you confidence as confidence builders? You should have that same confidence without these things. These things should make you. You should actually be enhancing these articles of clothing. You should be enhancing the decoration. You enhance them. They don't enhance you. If you think that these things enhance who you are, you got it backwards. You give these things purpose. Those material items that you decorate yourself with, although clothing may be a necessity, still, you give it purpose. Because without your need for clothing, it has no purpose. It's just cloth. It's just material. You give it a use. See, again, 
you're at the root of all of this. This is all within your control. This is all within your power. See, but a lot of people, they neglect that power. They forfeit that power. They want to give that power to other things, to other forces outside of their self. And then they end up in the predicaments that they're in. And then they become depressed. Then they suffer from all sorts of mental disorders behind it. All due to the lack of accountability. Not being willing to face your convictions. Not knowing how and when to let go. When to move forward. Not knowing how to deal with, not knowing how to cope with the world around you. Not knowing how to filter out all of the toxic energy that surrounds you. You have to learn how to filter. You have to find outlets to filter that toxic energy out. You can't let it fester inside you and it'll tear you apart. But these insecurities... These are insecurities that are imposed on you by the synthetic world around you. The superficial world around you. You have to reclaim your consciousness. It's nothing to be insecure about. Learn to love who you are. Accept who you are.